Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another vlog here on Sharp Moves. Uh, in this video today I want to discuss something a little bit different. I want to discuss why most people in the market is moving away from high powered V8, you know, testosterone vehicles and leaning more to electrification for obvious reasons and the market right now is extremely hot for these hybrid engines with gas prices there soaring really really high through the ceiling uh, cost efficiency you know daily drivability uh, and affordability lies within these vehicles okay and so watching this video I'm gonna tell you why stay tuned <laughs> Hybrid badging, okay? Not full electric, but half electric, half gas, okay? As we move forward to uh, to full electrification in the next five, 10 years with Biden's plan and that big rollout with, uh, you know, with charging stations and everything, gas prices have soared to the ceiling and you're seeing more and more of these hybrid gas half electric assist um, uh, cars popping up from all different brand makers. So the reason people are leaning towards hybrid assist vehicles is you have the gas power if you need it, right? There's no range anxiety. You know you can get to the gas station when the gas ends and there's gas stations available as we, as Biden, as America builds up their infrastructure. But you also have the ability to run two weeks on one tank of gas. The hybrid assist really gives you that ability to go that extra little distance um, through you know, regenerative braking um, and at slow speeds, always the car being very sort of intuitive and moving to the uh, the electric engines and not always having to use the gas powered engine. It's very smart in its ability to switch over and save you gas where, where, where it can. So very fuel efficient, very cost effective these things are becoming. Next time you're on the road, take a look for these badges. They're starting to become very, very normal. All companies, as again, as they move to electrification, are starting to bring their, their hybrid models out. We're starting to push away from gas power and move towards this electrification, right? Maybe not full electrification right, right away, but this, this hybrid system acts as an interim between you know, gas and full electrification. And it gives people peace of mind where they still have that infrastructure in, in gas stations, that reliability whenever they need it, uh, but starting to push towards that fuel efficiency and that cost effectiveness, you know, tax credits, a lot of the perks that come with, with the full electrification. So generally in the market, prices have spiked for hybrid cars, regardless of the, of the type. So this one being a sedan. Right, worth worth much more than its value it was bought about you know a couple of years ago about 16 grand you know it's probably you know in a normal market worth you know five six seven grand but I expect in this current market as we move towards electrification for it to bring in another one two three grand depending on you know the buyer um, more uh, just just based on the desire and the demand for it currently For example, this is a 2012 Kia Optima hybrid. Okay, so your typical Kia Optima, you know, it's going to get pretty decent fuel efficient, anyways. This hybrid engine takes it to the next level. So, as I said before, 
you know, I put in about $50 worth of gas, regular gas, at, you know, obviously high prices right now, but that gets me two weeks of driving around, around town. Gets me a ton of, ton of mileage. Uh, and comparable to my G35 or G37 Infiniti XS, uh, where I'm on my paddle shifters, it was five days, six days to a tank. Now I'm getting two weeks plus. Uh, so extremely, extremely cost effective. This thing will go for, for days without, uh, without uh, needing to be filled up. Obviously this car comes with its, with its pluses, with its negatives, which I'm gonna cover right now. Okay, first thing I can't stand about this Kia, or this vehicle in particular, is the horn. Get a listen to this horn. Beep, 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 beep. It's just so soft, so, so weak. Can't stand it. Okay, the second thing that really annoys me here is the glasses cabinet. And so, as much as I love that there is one here, if you watch, trying to put a pair of sunglasses in, it's just not that easy. I hope the camera's catching this, but it's not as easy as just sliding the pair in. You have to kind of tactfully turn the glasses, put it there, you know, it doesn't go in, you have to place it, then you have to put it up. So I guess first world problem, I mean, it does have one and it does work, it's functional, but just not, you know, you can tell it's not German made. It's not really thoughtful as to how easily it, uh, it, it, it sort of, its functionality is. So just, just the quality, just the build quality of everything in here. Again, this is meant to be leather, but it's very slippery, sort of cheap quality leather, plastic badging, you know, more cheap sort of plastic that doesn't look, I mean, that looks very basic to me. Uh, you know, it doesn't give me pleasure looking at it every day. You know, just basic buttons. Um, in saying how basic and cheap everything is in here, it does come with a ton of options as standard. Cooled seats, heated seats, um, you know, beautiful panoramic sort of sunroof that goes right to the back. You know, you get your navigation and stuff as standard. So it does come with a lot of stuff, but just, just the build quality, even getting into the software here and looking, you know, going through the navigation stuff. Let me just go through the modes here. Look at that. There's no album artwork. It's, it's Dane's phone. This is your, this is how it pairs up to your phone. There's no Apple CarPlay. It's just very cheap and, and basic. So not, not a huge fan. All right, probably the biggest thing that I that I love outside of the the practicality and the fuel efficiency, which is which is the reason I've done this video, um, is the quietness of the startup and the quietness of the vehicle. Listen to this. You essentially don't even hear an engine turning over. There's 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 nothing turning over. It almost starts just on electric and then the engine, I don't know if you got that in, but then the engine kind of fires up a little bit and it's just a, a small little sort of four cylinder, I believe. So very, very quiet car, even though it does have um, a, you know, a gas powered sort of side to it. So just getting a shot across the street there, these are current gas prices, which are skyrocketing, right? But again, but in one of these things, you're really keeping that cost down. And I know, you know, I'm always promoting v8 you know high powered loud vehicles here supercars all that stuff that's that's the dream that's what we're chasing uh but i wanted to do this video just just so that everyone out there can recognize that you know if you're in the market for you know something efficient kind of moving with the times and maybe aren't ready for electrification for full electrification yet um, this is a definitely a good way to go, a hybrid sort of assist. Um, and looking at all different sort of car makers, Lexus is doing a, a really nice hybrid system. Um, Mercedes has got its EQ sort of line. Um, just about every, every company is starting to introduce these, these again, these, these kind of bridges, these, these, we call them bridge models towards um, full electrification, right? So Biden has made a plan that in the next five, 10 years that, you know, I guess it's more, it's a, lo a little longer, 10, 15, 20 years for full electrification, full sales of electric vehicles from all car makers. So this is the push. This is where the trends are going. People are recognizing that, right? The trend is saying that these are the hot cars right now. If you have a hybrid, it's going for, for more than what it's worth. If you're looking for something that, that's gonna keep costs down, this is where your money is, is well spent. All right guys, so that was just a quick little sort of synopsis of, of my thoughts on the current market. 
you know, the hybrid market. I've been really noticing, you know, a few of these trends happening. And I get so caught up, as I said, in, you know, in chasing all these real fast sort of supercars. Um, and I've noticed the market is, is, you know, is starting to gravitate towards certain things. So I wanted to bring this sort of to your attention. Um, this is my sort of interim car. Obviously, you saw my last video on us buying my wife a, a new Audi Q3 uh, black badge. So this is kind of, this has been her old car. Uh, and this is what I'm kind of in until I make my purchase and bring my next sort of my first build to the channel. Stay tuned for that. Uh, but again, this is kind of, you know, this is, this is the way the market is moving. Um, you know, if, you, if you're in a hybrid right now and you're looking to sell, not only is the used car market really paying a premium right now because of the shortage of everything in the world, but hybrid assist is definitely going for even more. Um, so definitely consider it in your car buying uh, process. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, you know, guys, if you enjoyed the video uh, and you want to see more of these videos, um, you know, I urge you to subscribe, like the like the video, you know, show that YouTube algorithm that that you're in it, that you're that you're following sharp moves. Uh, and she, we'll call her she, the YouTube algorithm. She's a lovely one. She is. Uh, we'll recommend you more videos uh, in the future, hopefully, uh, hopefully from me, but in the same sort of uh, category as as what you're watching right now. Okay, uh, great video, great uh, talking with all you guys. Uh, I'll be back very shortly with, uh, with the next one. Stay tuned, all right?